Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are playing some more Starfield. On PC through Xbox Game Pass. And let's jump right into the game. <coughs> and do some more missions. We just finished exploring a star base that is hovering around the moon. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. That's how you disengage the Okay, that actually makes sense. Alright, so now we need to go back to Alpha Centauri. How far do we get from that boost? Hmm. Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and come back to Alpha Centauri for some side jobs yeah Oh, we can't land until that is done. Okay, fair enough. Scan complete. Yeah, no, okay, that actually... Civilian outpost. That's argon, lead, chlorine, and... Chlorine, chlorosilanes, and then water. Alright, cool. So we need to go here. Back to the laggiest part of the game. Because of frame rate. Can't help it though, unfortunately. Hey, let me know if we're going to head into the well so I can watch your back. It doesn't seem that bad, actually. No, it's the same. It's actually a bit better, believe it or not. Eh, it is what it is, though. Who cares? I can't fix it. The game's still playable. Who cares? I know how to bypass it. <laughs> I wonder if this bypasses the bounty stuff. If you have a bounty, I wonder if this bypasses it. Ah, uh, that'd be great if it did. I need some health. You know what? I actually might go back to... The, mm, no, I'd rather not. Because, yeah, no, I'd rather not. No, yeah. <coughs> yeah, I'd rather not. Okay, never mind. This one has the best defense on it. 
I think I could live on coffee if I had to. I actually want to sell some stuff. Um, let's probably wait. Yeah, I want to sell some stuff real quick. Um, yeah, I want to go here. <laughs> That's so stuff just remains here. Cool. Okay. Hope life is treating you well. Good to see you again. Sure thing. What can I get you? Oh, can I not sell her other stuff? Okay. I thought I could. Mission board. Looks like the missions never change. Because that one is still there. Deliver 620 nickel. So hold on, I wonder, if I accept a mission, I know I'm going off um, what I said I was going to do, but I want to test this real quick. Create cargo link to supply cargo link. So that probably requires me to have Okay, so where does this say he is? I'm curious. Go to any planet in the Narian system. Show on map. Go to any planet in this system. Crimson Fleet Haunt. There's a star station. Oh, and it tells you without actually going into this system. Okay. What about for the nickel mission? What does it say for that one? Does it require an outpost? Deliver 102 kilograms of optical resonators. Optical resonators. I don't know where to get those. That's the problem, but... I'll need an outpost. So it, it does tell you that I need an outpost. Okay. So I don't think it should allow me to take that mission because I don't have an outpost. Deliver optical resonators. Delivery time is five days. Optical resonators, huh? 102 kilograms. Okay, so I can take that one as well. Does it say where to get them though? Standard cargo run. Optical. And then it's just saying to go to my ship, right? Yeah. I would have to go to Olympus first and then up to here or to Narian and then to there. Why is it it taking me to Narian and then up to there? That's weird. That's so weird. That makes no sense. Oh, well, whatever. So that's how that works. But I have no idea how to get optical resonators or where do I have a bounty on me no I don't cool 
Okay. Moving on. Moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Moving on. I do want to sell some stuff, but I want to do... Um, it's saying that I need to get Jake Stout. Guy's gone, nice. That butthole is gone. Perfection. Sorry. Hey, Jakey Poo. Some of the shit from the freestyle systems might actually kill you. You drink enough of it. But you know, it's cheap, so silver linings and all that. You buying? What's it gonna be? I need yeah. one of his stouts. Right. Jake Stout. I need one of them. Uh huh. Hey. If you got anything valuable in you, keep it close. <laughs> you never know what might happen. <clears throat> I don't want that gun because the fire rate sucks. All right, we're out of here. Actually, no, we're not. And there's a reason for this. We're doing the best we can here. We're no reliant medical down here, but if you've got credits, I might have something for you. Oh, I can only sell aid. Okay. Um, all. Soul to the men upstairs. Treats burns and frostbites. I don't know how many of those I have, but 150. I don't know if I need any more of those right now. But I will buy your med packs, sure. Because I will need them. And this is to deliver stout. Yep, we're going here. Greater Atlas. Oh, hey, we can hail them. Always another delivery. Now, were you looking to make a purchase? I can do piracy, huh? You ever just forget to sleep when you're on a long haul? Never realize how important a horizon is until it's not there. Oh. Well, why didn't you say so? I only have three things, all. Oh, shit parts, okay. Power circuits and all that stuff, okay. Settler, okay. Well, that's a fancy ship. There's something you needed then? Yeah, you'd be surprised how popular it's becoming. There's even a group trying to organize all us independent settlers. Call themselves LIST. And considering signing up. Little extra support never hurt. Anything interesting? Finally heard that new Boreal Us album? I don't get it. Sounds like two flight computers fighting. <laughs> 
That's true. Help you out. Power circuit and they have 21 of them and ship parts. So that's how we get our ship parts then. Trader Atlas, huh? Are we going here? Yeah, yeah. Deimos shipyard. Deimos Star Yard, acknowledging civilian vessel. Our sales department is open. Please dock if you want to do business. And we do want to dock. Board. Should I warm up the engines? <clears throat> Hi. Please disregard. I attempted an informal I wish Davos was exclusively a military contractor. Nothing, sir. All's quiet. Only thing unusual is the civilian. 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 But he isn't doing anything inappropriate. Good. Carry on, Miss Mitchell. Where's that at? Demo ships are responsible for countless victories. No other ships can hold a candle to it. Where was that guy, that voice at? Hold up now. Welcome to Demos. Where was that voice at? Was it down here? My CEO wants to know, can Demos ramp up production? It's heating up out there. Yes, sir. We're operating at 50 percent. It is down there. Take on more. But the How do I get down there? That sounds like a serious problem. We have many capable subcontractors. Don't worry. When you need us, we'll be here. Oh, I can't get down there. If you have any questions, I love <coughs> questions. Uh, about, oh, yes, thank you so much. And just so you know, I definitely will not be drinking this on the job. Yeah, right. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah, right. You are very welcome for that one. Ho, oh, ho, oh. You know I might go for Yeah, I think I think we should go into Oh that's easy. Oh that's easy. There's nothing like it. Let's go talk to the guys down here, shall we? This is the heart uh. the you see. If you want to survive out there, you've come to the right place. <clears throat> is that? No, no, I don't think it is. Nope. I didn't think it was. Oh, computer. Announcements. Subcontractors of mine companies. Don't worry. When Are you yes. sure you're in the right place? Enjoy your stay. Generations of UC pilots were armed here. Best damn ships in the galaxy. Coffee bag. <laughs> Well, hi what there. We have here a civilian in my star yard. Daimos prides itself on being the UC's first and last line of defense in space. But we're more than happy to protect and arm bold entrepreneurs that do their business among the stars. <coughs> Daimos has a starship to fill every need, science vessels and the like. Huh. But what we're known for, what we're built for, is combat. 
Deimos starships have seen more action and more theaters than any of our competitors. History was forged in our star yard, time and time again. So, let's see about getting you a proper ship, one worthy of you. Let's see your Music ships. to my ears. It's a long sword, huh? Ages. Ooh. This one has more. Oh, wow. How much does it cost? Oh, wow. Okay, it costs a lot. I can't afford that one at all. Gladius. This one is better overall. Oh, wow. 800 fuel. Oh, the cargo capacity is... Oh, the cargo capacity is... Right away. <clears throat> yeah, mine has more cargo. When you get serious about your spacecraft, come back to Deimos. Mine has more cargo space. The next Kraken off the line goes to my base. Mm, okay. These ships are marvels. Interesting. So don't buy a ship there. I don't suppose I have time for a nap. I wonder if. I wonder if I can steal ships or not. Okay, so I have nothing to put away. I do want to sell some stuff, though. And I also want to... Okay, yeah, I think I know what I want to do now. Let's go back to... Let's go back here and try to find some ammo for our Welcome amazing gun that we got. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's cargo. Uh, All right, we're done. You're clear to land at New Atlantis. Level 32s, good lordy. <laughs> Level four. Trader Atlantis. Here we I'm go. I'm tight itinerary today, so I'd ask you <coughs> exactly to a minimum. Knew this woman who worked a graveyard shift for Hope Tech, the shipbuilder. Said they're serious taskmasters. Guess you don't get that successful by being inefficient. Plenty on offer, if your credits are good. Aromatic and iron, huh? <clears throat> and ship parts, okay. Huh. Huh, well let's just go to our um destination then. Why not? I want to go to, I think, the commercial district. 
That should be where all of the stores are. In theory. Not sure if those Varun zealots live in space or got separated from their <coughs> planet or what. But they scouted what they need. Lots of old facilities left over from the colony war. Can I go on Outland? I can. Can you um, imagine how many credits flow through this place? Figuratively, of course. Embassy District. Might be the distribution area. I'm trying to find a store. Hi, how you doing? If you see distribution. I'm afraid due to recent legislative action, I'm no longer able to allocate ships. I can, however, deal in general goods. Oh, hello. There Welcome we to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? What do you have for sale? Yes, of course. Please, take a look. Ammo. Oh, here we go. Yes, I'm buying all of this. <clears throat> all right. I don't need this one. I don't need that one. <clears throat> what else do I not need? I'm gonna miss having this, but the one I have now is better defensively. I don't need this one. I don't need this or this. Packs I'm good on. Throwables, no, because those ones suck. I'm not going to use any of those. I don't use drugs. Food is not worth it. Heart plus, no. Drugs, not worth it. Oh, that's actually worth having. That's worth keeping. I will accept that drug. That one is worth keeping. All right, so we got some Great. eleven millimeter. Come back if you need something else. Can we get some more? A service with a smile. Um, resistor for the Vanguard, Master District. Yeah, I think I want to go here. I want to go to the landing pad and try to get some more of that ammo. Yes, perfect. This is what I want right here. Excellent. I don't mind buying it because I don't know where to find it right now. So. Security office. Okay. Can I buy any ammo from you? Ah, if it isn't my... Nope. Zara, good to see you. Listen, I uh, smoothed over that incident between Mateo and Rosa at the sector. I'd hardly put it All right. I don't know where to get any more of that ammo from. Um... Contrary to what you might have heard, <coughs> UC security personnel are good people. And Sergeant Yumi. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe the mast district? Uh, I don't know. But, I will go here, pull that gun out, out of storage, because we have a better gun now. And it takes 11 millimeter, 48 physical damage, 20, yeah, this one, uh, yeah, it's going to be badass for us. So, weapons, 211, favorite this one to here, and now we can sell the Grindle. Perfect. <clears throat> all right, so I won't be using that gun all the time because I don't have much ammo for it. So what other quests can we do here? Go to hotel. That's on Neon. We're not going to do that one right away. I could do... Yeah, let's do this one right here. Resistor for the Vanguard. Why not? Let's go ahead... And where's this taking me? New Atlantis explored. Oh, we were already here. Well, fair enough. <laughs> oh, I was going to go on a tram. Okay. Well. Be scanned as you enter the city. Well, you could have just told me to travel there, game, instead of making me do all this crap. But whatever. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. To Venus? To Venus to get more dingus? Alright, I want to try this gun out. I am curious. <laughs> oh, and it's smoky too. Oh, I don't like the recoil on it though. I really don't, but I mean, we'll have to get used to that one. Ah. It's over here, isn't it? Yes, it is. What is this kiosk? Oh. Med Bay. Trade Authority. Oh, we can go to the Trade Authority. Okay. Yeah, we can go there and get more ammo, maybe. Yeah, that works. Let's do this first, because we're already here. And then we'll go to the Trade Authority. They got the <laughs> for each other. Oh. <laughs> Current bounty zero.
By joining the ban the Vanguard, you agree to perform s necessary services for the UC that could place you in serious danger, putting you in harm to your craft or yourself, up to and including death. In exchange, the Vanguard agrees to compensate all captains according to their level and difficulty of the task requested. <clears throat> all applicants will be required to earn a satisfactory grade on a sim combat flight, successfully complete a probationary mission, Upon the completion of both, Vanguard agrees to sponsor your citizenship application and guarantees the granting of citizenship once sufficient time or acts of valor have warranted it. Do you agree? I agree. Proceed to main hall. Let's explore the, um... Oh, here we go, the end of Earth. Okay. In humanity learned the Earth's magnetosphere would collapse sometime in the next half century, eliminating all life on the planet. Decisive action was required, but the secure transport of an entire civilization would demand a new kind of cooperation, a new kind of courage, and a new kind of union. Thus, in 2159, the United Colonies were formed to make that journey possible. Just one year later, the Galileo, the first of many colony ships, touched down here on Jemison, beginning a new era of human history, the age of the United Colonies. The effort and planning it must have taken to evacuate literally the entire planet. Can you imagine? The logistics alone must have been mind-boggling. Indeed. Oh, and here's the Earth, globe of Earth. New factions rise. Is there one over here? No. Nope. Oh, hey. Free Star Collective. <laughs> we get lower. Only one. No, 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 no. I want, I want this. Foundation, the United Colonies strove to provide all their citizens with opportunity, security, and peace. But there were those among the UC that still wanted something more: independence. So, in 2161, the UC issued the Centaurus Proclamation. Granting UC citizens the right to settle distant worlds and form their own sovereign powers. It wasn't long before the first new faction, the Free Star Collective, was formally organized in 2188, later followed by House Varun, revealing themselves to the universe in 2230. has always left me torn. So much conflict arose as a result. Was it worth it? Hmm. Serpent's Crusade. Beginning in 2240, House Varun forces declared all-out war on the rest of human civilization, initiating the Serpent's Crusade. Over the next 23 years, Thousands of Freestar, UC, and independent souls were killed by agents of House Varun in the name of their serpent god. It was only with the death of their founder in 2263 and the succession of his heir, Jarek, that House Varun finally sued for peace. There remains, however, select members of House Varun who refuse to recognize the cessation of hostilities their leaders established. Even after House Varun's mysterious disappearance, these zealots remain a threat to all who encounter them. Their pacification 
the goal of all space. Hmm. Conflict among the stars. There's a lot. Wow. You know it was the Nazi <laughs> general that condemned Londinia? Gave it over to the <coughs> Death Claw much? <laughs> said he was executed after the <laughs> Dude, there's a lot. I like this. Why not? Of the many conflicts between the galaxy's factions, none was more brutal than the recent colony war between the UC and the Freestar Collective. Set off by the unauthorized Freestar colonization of Vesta's Pride in 2308, a direct violation of the Nereon Treaty, the colony war spread quickly across the galaxy. Both sides deployed every tool at their disposal. Armadas of warships, mechanized combat platforms, or mechs. Even bio-engineered alien creatures, the infamous UC Xeno weapons. It was only in 2311 at the Battle of Cheyenne that the scales finally tipped. The Free Star Collective, utilizing their civilian fleet as a human shield, successfully crippled the superior United Colonies Navy. Hmm. After their shocking victory against the galaxy's greatest navy, the Free Star Collective offered terms of peace, which the colonies out of an interest in staving off any further human costs, accepted. The galaxy has been rebuilding ever since. Okay. The colony war was a horrible conflict that irreparably wounded the settled systems. There were times I felt that it would never end. Few settled worlds were left untouched by the colony war. But nowhere could the viciousness of modern warfare be seen more clearly than on the free star planet of Nera. Initially occupied by invading United Colonies forces as a forward operating position, repeated attempts to take and retake the planet by collective forces led only to devastation. Swaths of the world were transformed into scorched husks, a nightmarish testament to the depths of human ingenuity and human cruelty. And today, Nera remains a continuing reminder to the horrors of unfettered war. I really hope this is just a phase. That looks like a death All claw to me. four of my last science papers have been on terramorphs. <coughs> tragedy struck the UC city of Londinian. A newly constructed but critical supply center for the United Colonies war effort, Londinian found itself overrun by one of the galaxy's most mysterious predators, the Terramorph. A rare but pervasive threat to all human settled worlds, Terramorphs swept over the city seemingly out of nowhere on a scale never before seen in recorded history. Valiant efforts by the UC military slowed the onslaught, but the creatures proved unstoppable. Ultimately, the decision was made to destroy the Londinian spaceport, seal it off the city, the outbreak, and its citizenry from the galaxy at large. Hmm. The tragedy of Londinian is mourned by the UC to this day. <clears throat> yeah, the more I look at this thing, the more it reminds me of a death claw. But that can't be true. Dude, there's a lot more. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Freestar Collective came together to ratify a treaty that became known as 
the armistice. Both sides agreed to a vast reduction in standing forces and that Xeno weapons and mech warfare would be outlawed. All related research was sealed away, accessible only in cases of dire emergency. But the Collective had another demand, that the active commanders of the UC military stand trial for their actions. Hmm. The United Colonies, in the interest of peace and galactic security, agreed. In 2311, three United Colonies senior officers were found guilty. Commander Henry Durant, General Indira Rastogi, and Fleet Admiral Francois Senon, known better as Ve Victus. All were sentenced to death for their actions, bringing the colony war to a close and returning peace to the galaxy at long last. I was a strong supporter of the Armistice. All of the terrible weapons that both sides used against one another. It had to end. Hmm. It was into this new world that the Vanguard was born. An official branch of the UC Navy, the Vanguard is the United Colonies Volunteer Fleet, serving a myriad of security, logistical, and reconnaissance roles. And after a sufficient length of service, UC citizenship is guaranteed to every Vanguard member. Open to all captains, regardless of origin, the Vanguard is leading the charge to protect and support the citizens of the United Colonies, wherever in the galaxy they may be. Nice. Nice. By joining the Vanguard today, you too can begin earning your place here, in the heart of galactic civilization, as a citizen of the United Colonies. Hmm. Well, that was fun. <clears throat> yeah, the Terra Morph looks more like a Death Claw. spent a fair bit of time in simulators just like these. They're startlingly <coughs> realistic. Have fun. Oh, oh. master lock picking. Oh, oh. Well, let's do this, I guess. Why not? This is the Mark 18 flight simulation chamber applicant, currently in orbit around a high detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. Someone's dog is barking outside. Joy. Is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, applicant. <coughs> New target. 
targets active. I love the targeting thing, it is so fun. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> We finished it, so why not? Resuming the examination. New targets active. Shut it down. Did a ship blow up? Wow. Congratulations, applicant. You've passed. You can head up to Commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. Nice. Or you're welcome to take another path. Yeah, that was fun. That targeting system stuff makes it so much easier. <clears throat> yes? Now that is a view. <laughs> oh no, that's a view. Who's back? Everything go alright with the exam? Or did you have some questions you needed answered first? Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. 
You ready to hear how you did? I like the fire, applicant. Let's get into it. So, looking at the data, checked out a few of the murals. Good. A test of preparation and thoroughness. To trace the Vanguard values highly. Psychological results are all within expected levels. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Now, how'd you do against your foes? All right, clear tier three. We try to set a high bar, so that's no small feat. Nice work. Hell of a job. I might even let you fly me around sometime. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only... 10 years service. Better than your average lab rat or diplomat, but pretty standard for folks going out into combat. Ten years might seem like a long time, but it's worth the climb if you wish to become a citizen. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? It's a big decision. John, <coughs> you're not about to have my compatriot here sign some kind of contract that sells you their grandmother five years down the line, are you? Officer's honor, Sarah. This is honest work for honest credits. So, you ready to do the deed? Fantastic. Then just follow me. Nice. I mean, 10 years is a long time, but given that this is a video game, it might be sped up. If not, whatever, I don't care. I have my ship, who cares? <laughs> if you don't have official business, we ask you remain in the lobby. I got official busyness. You know what? Hey, um, you go on and do your own thing. I am going to sit here and wait for an hour. Wait for one hour. It actually still works. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Oh, is this right there? Well, I didn't have to then, I guess. But <laughs> now Wouldn't I know. We right doing this where we couldn't see the skies. Now, raise your right hand. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra, above and beyond. That is where we serve, beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military, and with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear? to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities, and to uphold the values of the Vanguard, honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy? Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. And what I've got is... comms repair. Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plan on Tau Ceti 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. Place is as isolated as they come. So Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau Ceti 2 count on you? No major settlements on Tal Ceti. No real active industry, either. Doesn't make for a big target. It's got the potential to be a pretty quiet trip. But there's a reason they wrote, Here Be Dragons, on the map edge. So if it were me, I'd hope for the best and arm for the worst. And if for some reason you do run into trouble, don't forget, it's your job to protect those who need it. So, you ready to head out? That's Why not? The spirit. 
Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Oh, and your advance. Give it your all out there. Supra et Ultra. Nice. 250 for that. That's not bad at all, honestly. Jeez. All right. Grunt work. That's fine. The old neighborhood. Go to Venus. Okay. Let's continue with this mission. <clears throat> In the next video. But I'm going to go ahead and get the stuff I need though. So. Why is he way over here for my ship's right there? Crazy, but whatever. It is what it is. Okay, you silly. Cord, stop rattling up, please. Thank you. Am I taking this shit? She managed to limp back here at all. Pull it for leeches, get it fixed up, and let her know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Yes, sir. Ah, you are new probationary then? Crew Chief Herat, pleasure to be working with you. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials in case of any surprises up there. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Tau City 2. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? I honestly didn't realize it had people living on it until we got your record. Report they gave us seemed clean, no known hostile outposts. But I wouldn't say that's permission to let your guard down. Just watch out for wildlife and pirates. Keep those med packs handy and you'll be fine. Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there, recruit. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's go. We'll get on the ship. And I will put a cut in the video. I'm gonna assume that I have to 20 mass. Yeah, I wanna take You cannot remove quest items from your ship. Okay. All right, I'm going to put a cut here and I will see all of you next time. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more and have a wonderful day.